Yo, what's going on, everybody? You know what this is. This is me, Trayvon Jones, Conscious Talk Channel. I wanted to talk to you about the new generation. I believe it's what, the, the Gen X? <laughs> you know, when I was growing up, um, it was always talked about, you know, as a, as a man, you, you know, you might have to be called to serve your country. You might need to enlist in the service, you know, in case a war breaks out, you know, you need to be available. And, and as a matter of fact, when you get 18, you have to uh, fill out a form or sign something, you know, just in case if they need to come get you, you will be willing to fight. My father served in, you know, uh, uh, the army. Uh, my grandfather was in the Navy. So I do have, you know, family members who fought, you know, in, in wars. You know, uncle of mine, he actually fought in the war. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But what we have to remember is, is that black people were not joining the service for because they were uh, patriotic. That had nothing to do with it. You might have some instances where that may have been the case, but for the most part, being patriotic had nothing to do with it. It was for livelihood. It was to kind of secure, you know, being taken care of. You were able to take care of your family. You were able to be taken care of in your old age because the promise is, is that you will be taken care of. You will have the VA. You will have, uh, you know, you'll be taken care of medically. You'll get the things that you need. You will get housing. You will get care. Basically, this is what you're promised when you sign up for these things. And the state that a lot of so-called black people were in at this time, you know, it behooved you to sign up and fight. But it wasn't because we were being patriotic. They had nothing to do with it at all. But this new generation, you know, because I have to tell you, when even when I was growing up, I wasn't going to serve in, a, in, in any kind of service at all. I already made it up in my mind that that was something that I wasn't going to do. But there was always a threat of, well, you might go to jail. It is what it is. If I'm a traitor, if I'm this, I'm that, because I don't want to fight in somebody else's war, that you go, so you want me to go to a whole nother country and fight for you. You started it. More than likely, America, y'all started it, but you want me to go to a whole nother country and fight a war that you started. Now, if people come over in our land, you know, which is American soil, uh, if I need to fight, absolutely. If men, women, and if we all got to fight, we all got to fight because now they're coming in on our land. But if you expect for me or for me to send my children to go fight in another land, that's absurd. But you have a new generation, the new generation saying they're not going to sign up for the service. They're not going to sign up because they see how a lot of y'all did their grandfathers, how you did their uh, fathers, you know, their brothers, you know, their 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 uncles, you know, their cousins. They see how you treated them. And a lot of these young women that are enlisting themselves in the army and the Navy are being murdered, being raped at alarming rates, and it's usually your people. It's usually the U.S. Army and government that is doing it to their own people, raping them, killing them, and sending guards to the parents' home saying, I'm sorry for your loss, when in reality, it was the U.S. government that killed them in the first place. Why would anybody want to send their children off to that? Why would anybody want to do that? The government promises you all these trinkets and all these gifts for fighting a war that you didn't start in the first place. But look at how they treat the people. They're over here giving migrants the things that they should be giving our people. A lot of the homeless population are so-called black people. A lot of the homeless population are people who served for this country. And look at the way that they're being treated. Why would anybody want to voluntarily sign up to fight for a war? 
America got shit all fucked up and got it twisted like a mug. I mean, people are just not volunteering for these type of things anymore. And rightfully so. Rightfully so, y'all. I want you guys to tell me in the comment section what you think about this new generation saying, fuck that. My father was a big advocate on fighting for the country. You know, uh, it makes a man out of you and all of that good stuff. They teach you techniques to be a man, how to take care of yourself, how to, you know, take care of your family, blah, 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 blah. All of that's great. Those are things that your father should be teaching you in the first place. So a lot of the stuff that my father learned, he taught me. A lot of stuff that my grandfather learned, he taught me as well. That's wonderful. Much respect to my grandfather and my father for these things and the information. But they knew right off the bat that <laughs> Trayvon wasn't going to risk his life for a war that he didn't start. And I'm not going to another country fighting on their soil. I, I just will never do no shit like that. That's crazy. And a lot of the new generation feels the same way. Look at the way they're treating us in our own land, in our own country. Just take a look. But you want us to fight for everybody else's freedoms all the while we're being treated like crap in our own country? Please make that make sense. Make that make sense. So shout out to the Gen X for having a mind of their own, not being brainwashed, not being bamboozled and tricked and forced and threatened jail time because you don't want to sign up for something you had nothing to do with. <laughs> like share and subscribe if you are not subscribed to my channel press that thumbs up and if you made it all the way through to this video shout out to you shout out to black men we have to support each other black men one unity we got to support each other peace out